Yesterday, the Dayton City Commission and State Representative Naraj Antani called the RTA and the union back to the table. Both sides worked for several hours trying to hammer out an agreement. State Representative Antani is joining us this morning. Thanks for taking some time this morning. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. So what, obviously we, we saw and we heard from you, uh, you and uh, Mayor Nanwelly trying to get these sides back together last night. They obviously did not reach an agreement. The strike is happening right now. What are your efforts right now? Yeah, absolutely. It's unfortunate that we weren't able to get them uh, to work out a deal, but hopefully what we did last night got them closer. Um, you know, right now my, my first and foremost worry is, is getting them back in a room to start renegotiating. We don't want them to think that just because that they're striking that they can't negotiate. And so I'm trying to get a hold of, of all sides and, and put pressure on them to, to get back in a room to, to hopefully end the strike uh, today. And, and that will be the goal from, from here on out is to, to make this an extremely short strike so that uh, people can, can start getting back to work. Now, Representative Antoni, we saw yesterday you uh, were very active on social media talking about trying to take steps to prevent strikes like this from happening in the future as far as uh, moving forward with the legislation. Is that something you're still looking into? But absolutely. You know, my first goal, to be honest, is to get this strike over with, and then we're going to make sure that it hopefully never happens again. And even Mayor Whaley, who's a Democrat, and I were talking about this last night, and she has some ideas, and, and I'm going to take uh, every idea and, and try to make the, the best possible legislation. But look, you know, the RTA is critical. It's not just, uh, you know, a private company's workforce that will be cutting into someone's profit. These are real people who are being affected because of what I believe is the selfishness of both sides of these negotiations. Representative Antoni, you mentioned uh, first and foremost you want this to end as quickly as possible. I think that's the goal really for anyone, no matter who you're talking to, whether it's riders, drivers, the RTA itself. How optimistic are you that this won't be a long-lasting strike? Uh, unfortunately, I, I'd have to disagree. You know, look, we, we had to coerce these, these folks back into the room, both the union leadership and the management. I think they both want a deal but they both want a deal that's beneficial for them and so what we're telling them is that they both need to compromise to end the strike for the drivers for the customers etc uh, and so you know really it's about making sure that that each of them compromise and that they understand uh, the importance that, of getting a deal as soon as possible are you optimistic that that could happen quickly uh, i'm optimistic that we could get them back in a room and, and force them to negotiate all right, Representative uh, Naraj Antani, thank you so much for giving us a few minutes of your time this morning. Thank